And this is bad timing, but my uh, daughter is sick and I have to stay home with her. The good news is she just got a negative COVID test. So um, that's why I'm not in class today. But I wanted to walk you through our lesson plan objectives that are posted to School Out, School G. And I will be available for help via email if you need anything. So there are two parts of our lesson today. The most important part is to complete a descriptive letter assignment. The descriptive letter assignment um, is requesting you to write about yourself and two skills that you are proud of that you have. The directions are right here at the top of this Word doc. Then in one paragraph, discuss one skill that you would like to obtain, what you would like to work on doing um, this year or in this class, and explain why this skill would be helpful. So there are some requirements to include. Excuse me. Um, there are requirements to include in this assignment. One, in the intro, introduce yourself and the topic. Then write three body paragraphs each containing one of the skills being discussed. So the first two will be skills that you are proud of that you have, and then one skill that you're hoping to develop. Lastly, I want you to create a concluding statement. That, uh, uh, really a concluding paragraph, I should say. And I want you to try to persuade me in that final paragraph one thing that you would like to see happen in our class. Now, it can be a routine, a rule, an activity. Um, it could be a type of an assignment. It could be something about homework. It could be something about food or whatever you come up with. The only stipulation is it must be something that is appropriate and achievable. Okay, Don't come up with something outlandish that is completely impossible. So I hate to say it, but it is kind of a five paragraph letter. Um, but I figured having a structured assignment would be really helpful uh, for you to follow while I'm absent. Let's review. In your letter about yourself, your descriptive letter, you're going to have five paragraphs. You're going to have an introduction that where you introduce yourself and the topic. You're going to have three body paragraphs, each describing a skill. Two are skills that you've already had that you're proud of. You might even describe a moment like an activity or a sport. And then finally, you're going to write a concluding paragraph that tries to persuade me to add something to our class. This is the main assignment of the day. Um, I have an example below. However, I didn't write the persuasive paragraph part at the end. I apologize about that. You can write your paragraph right in this document if you want rather than make a new one. Um, you can put it right in here. So that is the main part of the day. And you should be able to finish it with the class time provided. I would like it uploaded by the end of um, the evening today. So I have some time to look at your writing before I see it tomorrow. I'd prefer to have it by the end of class, but if you need an extension, just send me an email. Now, the second part of the day is to read LeBron James's letter to Cleveland. LeBron James, I'm going to do a short presentation about the basketball player's career in the early, in the mid 2000s. And I like using this letter with my class because it's a really well written, persuasive argument. And it's accessible to all reading levels. He's writing for a broad audience in Cleveland and Ohio as he's trying to persuade the basketball fans. Now, if you know anything about LeBron, uh, LeBron James other than the fact that he was in Space James 2, uh, you might already know that he was known as the Chosen One when he was drafted, when he was not much older than you. I mean, he had such a successful high school basketball career um, and his draft pick. He was just a star coming into the NBA in 2003. It's hard to believe how 
successful he was, yet how overwhelming that must have felt to be 18-19 and then immediately in the NBA. So he grew up in Cleveland, and I want you to recognize that Cleveland was going through the recession like Michigan was during these years. Um, and Cleveland really looked up to him as a sign of hope beyond basketball. I mean, we have this young man who grows up in uh, Ak Akron, Ohio, not outside of Cleveland. And he's seen as like a silver bullet to success for the team, but he's also an inspiration of hope for a city that's down on its luck. And he plays for Cleveland for seven seasons. Now, they never win a championship while LeBron James is there. And in 2010, he's up for free agency, and he kind of extends this decision about whether he's going to stay or is he going to leave. And he leaves to go to the Miami Heat. He becomes a hero to villain all within that moment. And the reaction from Cleveland fans is just overwhelming. The Cleveland fans are booing him at games. They're burning his jersey. I mean, they become fanatics at calling him a traitor. Dan Gilbert is the owner of the Cavaliers. He's also the owner of Quicken Loans, the mortgage company out of Michigan, Detroit. He even wrote a letter, and you don't need to read it, but he wrote a letter explaining to Cleveland that he was going to help his team have a championship without LeBron, trying to instill some hope in the future of their basketball career. It's quite a long uh, letter that ended up being meaningless because the Cleveland Cavaliers don't win any championships. And in his absence... He goes on to have a very successful career for Miami. I mean, Miami Heat is like a powerhouse for basketball. And I forget how many championships, uh, finals they get into, but I know that they win at least one or two rings in those four years. LeBron James basically succeeds at his mission by winning a championship. Now, in this letter you're going to read today, or if you don't get to it during the hour, I want you to read it at home. It's going to take you about 10 minutes. He is persuading Cleveland to accept him back. He wants to come home. And he's using what we call rhetoric, the art of persuasion, to convince the fans of Cleveland to accept him back after all these four years of him being seen as a traitor. Um... I'm not going to play any of these until I see you in class tomorrow. Instead, I'm going to have you have enough time to work on your skills letter and then read the LeBron James letter that is posted in Schoology. It's two pages, and we're going to go over it again tomorrow and have an activity with it. And we're also going to utilize it as a mentor text to help us revise a little bit of our persuasive paragraphs or add to our persuasive paragraph in our descriptive skill letter in that final concluding paragraph where you try to convince me to add something or do something in the class that's reasonable. So you're going to see these materials in Schoology. I am new to using Schoology, but you should be pretty clear. If you are new to our school and you're not clear on how to utilize Schoology, um, what you can do is ask the sub if the sub is familiar and they, and they have been trained. The second thing you could do is ask somebody around you in the class because they had to use this on the online learning. You're looking for week one materials. You're going to open it up and you're going to see the descriptive letter in this folder as well as the LeBron James um, reading assignment. All right. Good luck. Please be uh, not just on your best behavior, but please be productive. And I really can't wait to see you back on Thursday. I, I will be back. My, if my daughter's sick, my, my wife will be staying home with her on that day. Thank you.